This program is brought to you by NewsWorks in cooperation with Eau Claire County. This program is simulcast on WRFPLP 101.9 FM. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm pleased to call this meeting of the Eau Claire County Board of Supervisors to order here on March 20th, 2018. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of reflection by Supervisor Kathy Clark. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A few years ago, there were a couple of books that I purchased and really liked. One was uh, God's Little Instruction Book, and uh, I think the second one was words from dad or something, and it had dad in the title anyway, maybe dad's instruction book, and it was kind of funny because my husband and I went to Platteville one day to see our son, and we walked to the fraternity house and went up to our son's room, he wasn't there, but in the mess, there on the floor, by his bed, was dad's instruction book, and I thought, what a smart boy <laughs> to plant things like that. But anyway, I found this book. The name of it is um, Breathe the Wind, Drink the Rain. And it's a wonderful little book that shows us how to find ourselves and center ourselves. And I won't read all of them, but some of them are just too good to let go. Wake up is the first one. Notice how things grow. Don't be afraid to see what you see. Hear what you hear. Think what you think. Or feel what you feel. Watch turtles. Spend time with what you love. Waste time with whom you love. Save time with, forget about saving time. Let's skinny dip. Learn to brew good coffee, even if you don't drink it. Notice, let's see. Be smart. Think of dumb things to do and do the opposite. Leave your own tracks. Travel well, but be where you are now. Thank everything that's thankable every day. This is a good one for right now. Know that the news is not the world. Notice, or don't chase butterflies. Be still, and they will land on you. Notice how unusual everything is. Make friends with mystery. Do the things you fear. Keep your pilot light lit. Burn old wood. Drink old wine. Trust old friends. And read old books. Get off Sunday aisle and set sail. For a real island, for a point on the map, for a point in your heart. Remember, there is only one real question, and the answer is yes. <laughs> Thank you, Supervisor Clark. Now, Supervisors, you please take your keypad and indicate your presence here this evening. Thank you, everyone. We'll move on to the approval of the journal proceedings for March 6. You'll find that in your meeting packet on pages 3 to 6. Are there any suggested changes to the journal proceedings as drafted? 
I see none. I'd entertain a motion to approve them as drafted. Motion by Supervisor Smyer, second by Supervisor DeLuca. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, public <coughs> comment this is an opportunity at each meeting for members of the public to address the board. Uh, no one signed up. I'll ask if there's anyone from the public who'd like to speak this evening. I don't see anyone, so thank you. We'll move on to uh, oral reports. Uh, 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 Catherine Shaw, County okay, Administrator. Thank you. You actually have on your desk a printout of a dashboard that was done to actually highlight the work of the strategic plan that was adopted. And this plan has been underway, and we've had different teams working on it. And so there's a brief update in the comment section. You'll see that some of the work on the planning still moves forward and still goes on. The board will be undertaking a new session of strategic planning in May, and the work for that has already begun at the department level as we prepare for the board having um, its strategic planning session. So this is an update for you, and there will be more to come, and we'll keep this on our website and regularly post updates as appropriate. If you have any questions, I would encourage you to um, reach out. We'd be happy to help you in any of the areas where you have a question or would like more information. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for uh, the County Administrator Schaff on that point? I see none. Uh, we'll move on to um, uh, just going over the written reports, contingency funds in your packet, and various independent agency reports. These are the annual written reports from supervisors who serve as liaison to various entities. It's in the meeting packet. I won't read all the uh, agencies. If there's uh, any that aren't here and you know it's on your to-do list to get them in, uh, please do so and that will be included in the next meeting packet. Uh, moving on to presentation of petitions, claims, and communications. Are there any, uh, I'll, I'll get to the proclamation in a moment, are there any uh, announcements? Uh, Supervisor Mortimer. Yes. Thank you, Chair. My voice isn't so good. I just wanted to let the uh, uh, supervisors here tonight know that, uh, as you recall, um, we passed a resolution in support of AB 475 and SB 386. That was the uh, legislative bill uh, requiring amber strobe lights on the back of buggies, horse-drawn vehicles. And I did get an email this afternoon from Representative Spiros who was uh, one of the sponsors of the bill, um, to say that the bill was scheduled today for a vote in the Senate, and after that uh, vote, it goes to the governor's desk. Ah, okay. okay it's a, it was a big day in the Senate today, so thank you for that update. I appreciate that. Any other announcements? I'll just note that, uh, as I think you knew, uh, the reason I wasn't here at the last meeting was I was in Washington, D.C. Uh, for the National Association of Counties annual legislative conference and among the, um, uh, the activities were Hill visits. So um, there were Wisconsin County officials uh, who visited small groups, visited every member of the Wisconsin delegation, and I participated in the uh, uh, Senator Baldwin and, and Representative Kind uh, visits, and, uh, and it, it, it was pretty, pretty positive. So uh, that's where I was last month. And we do have a proclamation, it's in your packet. Uh, April is the uh, National County Government Month that uh, NACO uh, puts together, and I will read an abbreviated um, version of the proclamation. The, the entire language is in the meeting packet, and then I would look for uh, approval. So, where does counties move America forward by providing health care, administering justice, keeping communities safe, creating economic opportunities, and much more? And whereas Eau Claire County and all counties take pride in our responsibility to protect and enhance the health, welfare, and safety of our residents in efficient and cost-effective ways. And whereas through National Association of Counties President Charles Roy Brooks Serving the Underserved Initiative, NACO is focusing on the critical role counties play in breaking multi-generational cycles of poverty. And whereas Eau Claire County provides support for families and children, nutrition support, child care services, workforce training and development, adult protective services, veteran services, child protective services, foster care, homelessness and housing support, programs for the elderly and disabled, just to name a few of the program areas, 
Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Greg Moore, Eau Claire County Board Chair, do hereby proclaim April 2018 as National County Government Month. May I have a motion uh, for that? A uh, motion by Supervisor Henning, a second by Supervisor Crunk. Any discussion on that motion? Seeing now, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, and once again, any other announcements? Uh, oh, Supervisor Bates. Uh, thank you. I also had the opportunity to be in Washington, D.C. Uh, from the 3rd to the 7th of this month uh, on behalf of the land grant institutions throughout the country. There are two of us that represent Wisconsin, Bob Krauss and myself, and we both have long histories of serving on the Extension Committee and being involved in the State Board. There's some extremely interesting statistics in regard to the information that we shared with our legislators. And one of them is basically that agriculture is a trillion dollar industry in this country. But interestingly enough, only 1% of the people who work in the agricultural industry actually work on farms. And as we think about our own county and the counties across the state of Wisconsin, we certainly see less family farms than we used to. We see more corporate farms. But along with that, there's another statistic that we need to be aware of. And that's that in that population, the rate of suicides have become a real issue for the farm community. And part of it may be due to isolation. Part of it may be due to the fact that they certainly are under stress, that they have absolutely no control over some of the elements that make a difference in their ability to be able to do well. But I think it's an issue that now is in the forefront. And as we look in our own community, uh, 28 suicides this last year up until September. I don't have the number beyond that. We need to be aware of how important it is for us to be aware of people that are in need and be friends to those that need friends. So it was a great conference. Uh, also, we had nice remarks from our legislators, and hopefully we'll find us in a position where we'll have some increase in funding for our aid programs. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, moving on to agenda item eight, the first reading of ordinances by committee. Uh, Janet. File number 120 to amend section 2.52.010E of the code, or excuse me, F of the code, definitions, and to amend section 2.52.020 of the code, health department established, and to amend section 2.52.040C and H of the code, powers and duties, and to amend section 2.52.050 of the code, regulations. And we'll bring that back at our next meeting, uh, which is April 4th, the day uh, on Wednesday, because election day is on Tuesday, so our next meeting is April 4th. Uh, moving on to agenda item 10, reports of uh, standing committees, file 122. Authorizing the sale of tax deed property to former owners Philip R. Spratt and Marcy A. Spratt for $3,423.83, directing corporation counsel to perfect, excuse me, prepare a quick claim deed and the county clerk to execute said quick claim deed. I have a motion, please. A motion by Supervisor Leary, second by Supervisor Smyer, and an explanation by Supervisor Dunning. This is a sale of, of property that was taken by uh, the county or is in the process of being taken, and the former owners have decided they want it back and are paying the cost of the, of, uh, of the expenses that are involved in it. Okay, thank you. Any uh, questions or discussion on this matter? Any questions or discussion? It appears you're ready to vote, so please take your keypad and vote um, on uh, file the motion to authorize the sale of tax deed property to former owners Philip R. Spratt and Marcy A. Spratt as described. <coughs> Supervisor Crowns, if you oh, okay, thank you very much, and that passes unanimously. File 124. 
authorizing the sale of taxi property to the City of Eau Claire for $8,693.67, directing Corporation Council to prepare the quick claim deed and the County Clerk to execute said quick claim deed. I have a motion, please. A motion by Supervisor Gatlin with a second by Supervisor um, Steinhauer and Supervisor Dunning for an explanation, please. This is some pro two lots or two parcels of property that were part of a development that they're not big enough to build on and the uh, taxes have not been paid so the county is in the process of taking the property but the city will be using it as a stormwater retention basis so we're selling it to the city for the cost of uh, uh, as listed in your information. Thank you for the explanation. Any questions for Supervisor Dunning or any discussion on this motion? I see none. So, okay. Uh, please vote on the motion, which is to uh, file 124, authorizing the sale of Daxby property to the City of Eau Claire um, as described. And that uh, passes unanimously. Uh, file 130. Authorizing payment of vouchers over 10,000 issued during the month of February 2018. I have a motion on this uh, matter, please. Motion uh, 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 by uh, Supervisor Schroffnagel, <coughs> second by Supervisor Leary. Any discussion on the, the vouchers this month? Supervisor DeLuca. Um, can you explain item 32? Let's see, so you're on page 31, 31 page item 31, line 32, the Sacred Heart Hospital for Meals. Okay, uh, Administrator Shaw, please. Um, that is actually a payment that was due in October, and it actually was delayed. So they're making up that payment. It's for the Meals on Wheels from last year. And is this then the final payment? Then? That is correct. All right, thank you. Any other uh, questions or discussion? I see none, so please vote on the motion, which is uh, file concerning file 130, authorizing payment of vouchers over $10,000 issued during the month of February. That's adopted unanimously uh, also. File 131. Authorizing the sale of taxi property to Red Cannery, LLC, for $55,000, directing Corporation Council to prepare a quick claim deed and the county clerk to execute such quick claim deed. I have a motion on this matter. A motion by Supervisor Conlon with a second by uh, Supervisor Henning. Uh, and Supervisor Dunning for an explanation, please. This is a gas station that uh, has been in our hands for some time, and there's now finally a purchaser of it, and for the amount of 104000 plus. Well, well, so 55000 Well, 55000 okay. Well, <coughs> Thank you. Any questions or discussion? I see none, so please vote on this motion. File 131, authorizing the sale of tax deed property to Red Cannery, LLC, for $55,000. Supervisor Buchanan, if you'd uh, re-vote there, please. Didn't quite take. Thank you very much. And that's that it passes unanimously. Uh, file 132. Authorizing a transfer from the 2008 Contingency Fund in the amount of $20,000 for startup costs associated with Farm Technology Days, Inc. to be held in 2020. I have a motion on this matter. Uh, Supervisor uh, Chilson with a second by uh, Supervisor Bates. An explanation by Supervisor Dunning. As the fact sheet said, this was money that we have committed to the uh, Farm Technology Days and um, the payment was due before it was part of the budget, so it will show up in a budget down in future years, but uh, for this year we'll have to take it out of the uh, contingency fund. Thank you very much. Any questions or discussion on this motion? Any questions or discussion? Supervisor Bates. Thank you. Um, I think it might be interesting for the board to know that really that uh, committee is very active. They have, have us, almost everybody in line to take leadership roles. And really notable individuals are becoming involved in our community. This undoubtedly pays back many times over as far as this small security deposit to be sure that you have money enough to operate with them until you begin to get uh, some of your registration fees and such in. 
So I think it's a very worthwhile investment. Thank you. Supervisor Cronick. Thank you. That money will be repaid, won't it? Yeah. Uh, I believe it is repaid. Yes. Uh, yes. After the event. Yeah. And the board has already approved the actual expenditure of the money. It's simply identifying the resource to make that payment at this time. Any other questions or discussion? I see none, so if you would please vote on this motion, uh, file 132 authorizing a transfer from the contingency fund in the amount of $20,000 for startup costs associated with Farm Technology Days to be held in the year 2020. Voting uh, on display there. Okay. And, uh, that is adopted unanimously. Uh, moving on, we have uh, one last item. It's uh, on the addendum. Uh, it's concerning, well, yeah. It's a, an appointment to the Local Emergency Planning Committee. Uh, the appointment is Elizabeth Jones, and the PD Committee did approve this at their February 27th meeting. Uh, may I have a motion, please? Uh, motion by Supervisor Steinau, second by Supervisor Miller. Um, any questions on this appointment? Um, uh, Supervisor Steinhauer. Uh, sure. Yep. Is it on? Yes, it is. Yep. Uh, this was a definitely unanimous, and we believe this is going to be a good person for this fit. Okay. Thank you very much. And the administration committee uh, approved this unanimously earlier this evening as well. Any other discussion? I see none, so if you please vote on uh, approving the appointment of Elizabeth Dones as the media representative to the Local Emergency Planning Committee. And Supervisor Stelgis, if you do that one more time, it didn't take for some reason. Thank you very much, and that's adopted unanimously. A uh, relatively short meeting, and uh, we are at the end of our agenda, so thank you everyone. Our next meeting, once again, is April 4th. Thank you very much. The meeting is adjourned. This program was brought to you by a cooperation between NewsWorks and Eau Claire County. NewsWorks is made possible by continuing community support. If you would like to volunteer or make a donation, please contact us via phone at 715-839-5067 or online at valleymediaworks.org.